Good morning and welcome everyone to the first ever Kubernetes Day here in Bengaluru, India. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So the cloud native community is a truly global community. And we are so excited with the enthusiasm that we've seen from India over the last several years. And to be able to bring in both a group of international experts and a number of local ones uh, to collaborate together and help build the cloud native ecosystem here in India. Um, I want to start by thanking our venue sponsor, Infosys, and our diamond sponsors, AWS, Intel, Microsoft Azure, and Rancher. Our platinum sponsors, DigitalOcean, IBM, Red Hat, Suze, and our gold sponsors, InfraCloud, Intuit, OpenEBS, and our uh, silver sponsors here. Uh, could we have a round of applause for them? We could not hold this event without them. And um, I really do encourage you uh, during the breaks, uh, during lunch, to please go by their booths and talk to them. They all have um, a number of fantastic offerings in this space and uh, a number of programs that they'd love to talk with you about. I want to um, specifically call out, though, uh, before I go forward, uh, from Infosys, Guru, and Ben Hers, and uh, from JFrog, uh, Raj, who's um, on the CNCF board, uh, is from India, and helped facilitate all of this. So it was really uh, those three folks have just been instrumental in putting this together. And uh, one last thank you is for the uh, Linux Foundation and CNCF event staff, Megan, Colleen, and Jennifer. So much work went into this event on the security and the signage, all of which got reprinted last night. Uh, and so if we could have one more round of applause for them, thank you for putting together uh, this great event. Okay, so I just want to do a very brief introduction on the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Uh, what we are and um, how you can work with us, and then I'll be thrilled to, um, to pass it on to the experts. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. We're part of the Linux Foundation. We're just a little bit more than three years old, and in that time, we've actually become the largest ever open source software foundation and the fastest growing one. I think everybody here has heard of Kubernetes. It's in the name, uh, but you may not be aware that CNCF actually has five graduated projects, Kubernetes, Prometheus for monitoring, uh, Envoy as a service proxy, Core DNS for service discovery, and Container D as a container runtime. And then we have uh, 15 incubating projects that um, are being used in production around the world that are really quite uh, substantive projects uh, that we're, we're, we're very happy to support. And you can also see here our 17 platinum members, which uh, provide a lot of the support for our organization. Now, uh, we have a, a project maturity model, and we talk about the, uh, the crossing the chasm chart to say that uh, the graduated technologies that we host are suitable for companies of all size. And we really say that 2018 was the year that Kubernetes crossed the chasm and moved from the early adopters into the early majority. But we're also very cognizant of the fact that the vast majority of enterprises have only just begun down their cloud native path. And uh, we have not really broken in yet into that late majority or into the laggards. Uh, but also here, you can see our sandbox technologies. We're up to 14 of those, and um, it's growing quite rapidly. These are much less mature projects that are promising. We want to provide a neutral home and allow them to collaborate and, um, and improve, but uh, we don't provide the same marketing or other services to them. So CNCF is part of the Linux Foundation. Uh, today, Linux Foundation is much more than just Linux. Uh, hopefully, you're, most many of you are familiar with Let's Encrypt, which provides more than half the world's security certificates for the web. LF Networking uh, supports mobile carriers with more than 70% of the world's subscribers. CNCF in the cloud. Automotive-grade Linux is shipping in all new Toyota cars and a number of other manufacturers. Hyperledger is one of the leading open source offerings for blockchain and uh, Node.js is now the most popular uh, application framework. And we actually have a, a number of other ones on top of these. Uh, last week, we announced a new program that I would think, um, I want to make sure folks are familiar with and, and take a look at. It's called Community Bridge. You can learn more about it at communitybridge.org. 
org, and it's designed to support open source projects and open source developers that might not get the same resources as an organization like CNCF can provide, but remain very important and, and very worth supporting. And so one of the first things we're doing is a Patreon-like funding service, except that rather than charging 10% fees or 13% fees, uh, the Linux Foundation is charging 0% fees for the first $10 million to pass through the platform. There's also a uh, security scanning service. And then uh, a particular interest, we'd like to make you aware of a mentor-mentee program where uh, if you're a, ma a maintainer on an open source project, you can find new contributors. If you'd like to get involved in a uh, open source project, you can volunteer as a mentee. We will um, match make with for you. And then particularly for women and other under, underrepresented minorities, we have uh, $500,000 in diversity grants that we're making available uh, across, that's, uh, across the world. So please take a look at this. It's a very exciting program. It's um, in closed beta for just another 10 days or so. And then it's going to, but you can sign up now and, and say you want more information. And then it's going to open up uh, widely. So uh, we handed out this document, the Cloud Native Trail Map. Uh, I hope you got a copy as you checked in this morning. And this is our attempt to talk about the journey that organizations make as they learn about and adopt Cloud Native. And the idea is that the very first thing is to containerize and then to build a CI-CD platform, and only then to look at orchestration and then observability and service uh, meshes and everything along the way. And so it is. Um, a little oversimplified, but it's hopefully helpful to you as you think about the different CNCF projects and uh, how they fit together. But it's our view that there's literally no organization in the world that's using all CNCF hosted projects and no um, third party commercial products or other open source projects. And so we do keep this uh, extremely overwhelming landscape. This has um, at times been described as um, helpful as overwhelming and as the hellscape. And um, interestingly, two of those were by the same person. But uh, I, I do think it's worthwhile that to have a way of looking at this and thinking about for each given area, like key management or um, a, a container registry, what are the options, either commercial or open source? And um, there's a, a very powerful interactive tool that I encourage you to try out on your, on your phone, l.cncf.io, the URL's at the top, uh, that lets you sort and filter and learn about it. And uh, one of the fun things is that we can come in and say, just show us the projects in India. And uh, we can see here that there's 12 cards um, out of uh, about 650 on the landscape. We can see that we have three Kubernetes certified service providers and some other uh, open source and other offerings. And uh, I will just say that my hope is to be back here in a year, that we do want this to be an annual event, and that uh, when I come back, that there'll be many more uh, projects and companies on our cloud native landscape, hopefully that some of you have, uh, have started and expanded. Uh, CNCF as an organization now has more than 375 members. We're particularly pleased with the 75 members in our end user community. And you can see just a fantastic group of um, companies here in just a variety of different industries, finance, publishing, and e-commerce, and, and um, many, many others that um, are all uh, making their way down this cloud native journey. So um, this is our first ever Kubernetes Day event. I um, uh, hopefully, I think, no, some of you have attended KubeCon Cloud Native Cons. Those are our much bigger events. We're holding three of them uh, every year, uh, Barcelona, Shanghai, and San Diego this year. I do um, just want to, and uh, you can see that there's been just enormous growth uh, for these events over time that uh, we started with 500 people in attendance and in Seattle uh, last year in December we had 8,000 attendees. We're expecting um, 10,000 in two months in Barcelona. So it really does speak to the huge level of interest and engagement uh, in Cloud Native. I do um, want to point out in the audience um, who will be speaking later, Nikita, uh, is going to be keynoting uh, not just here at Kubernetes Day, but also in two months in Barcelona. And uh, 
it, it's really fantastic to see uh, her as a representative of the Indian development community. Uh, I also want to point out in the audience uh, Dims uh, from Huawei, who is a member of the Kubernetes Steering Committee. That is uh, the top leadership of Kubernetes that ultimately decides how the project functions and, uh, and, and how things work. Uh, finally, I want to let you know about a couple CNCF programs that I think would be of a lot of interest to you. We offer a free Introduction to Kubernetes course uh, on edX, and um, this is a great way of getting started and getting up to speed um, in the program uh, with these technologies. We also have a $300 course that uh, teaches the fundamentals of Kubernetes and prepares you for our online exam. And that exam is called the Certified Kubernetes Administrator. We've already had 6,000 people uh, take it. It is not a multiple choice exam. You're actually given seven different clusters over the course of three hours, and you have to configure them or debug them or set them up. Uh, and it's a, it's a real uh, demonstration of your proficiency. We also have a certified Kubernetes application developer, which is um, focused on people who are designing and building their applications to run on top of Kubernetes. And that is uh, a two hour exam that again is extremely practical. And um, I'm very excited to announce that we are offering a special for attendees of the event today. It is a coupon good for 50% off on either the training or the certification or both for the Certified Kubernetes Administrator and the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. And um, given that that, uh, the, yeah, absolutely. So um, I, I do hope you'll take advantage of this. We're going to be emailing this to you on, with the email address that you registered on, um, I believe, on Tuesday with a special co coupon code. You have um, about six weeks to sign up for this, but then you have a whole year to take the exam. So you can take the time and uh, either educate yourself or try the online trainings, or there's a variety of different ways to get uh, used to this. But we do think that this is um, a really good value. It's a way of demonstrating on your GitHub, on your LinkedIn, that you have this expertise, and I, I think is a, a very good career direction. So uh, with that, I am uh, thrilled to introduce Liz Rice,